So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I use the Sanya Kashuk blending sponge. Um, if you want to see a review of the sponge, just click the link below you and I'll link it to the video where I review it. So I've already put a moisturizer on my face and I used my Rimmel Fix and Perfect primer, facial primer on, and I already put that already on already. I just use my fingers for that and spread it all over my face in a nice thin layer. So, and I've already made my sponge wet under the faucet. For directions how to do that, that'll be in the review video. So I'm going to be using my Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation, and my color is 201 Classic Beige. I know they've come out with a 25 hour one, but I still have this, so I'm going to use it. And what I do is I just take the foundation and I put it on, I kind of like do squiggles like that on the back of my hand. And then I take the base of the brush or of the blending sponge and just kind of get some of the foundation on there. And then you just want to take a stippling motion all over the face. And it just gives you such a nice light you know, amount of the product all over. Like, and you can build your coverage. If you just go over it, your face a little bit, you know, it'll just give you a nice light coverage using the foundation. But if you keep going back over it, then, you know, you can build it and you can cover more if you need to. So I just do that and I just stipple it all over my face. And you definitely don't want to forget to go down the neck just a little bit because nothing is worse, and I know you've all seen it, when you see that line of foundation. And, you know, I know it can be kind of tough to see that when you're doing your foundation. Otherwise, you know, people wouldn't have that line if they knew it was there. So just take it, you know, don't put extra on your, you know, on your sponge to do this. But just take whatever's left and just kind of lightly blend down the chin and even a little bit onto your throat and then that'll just help give you that flawless coverage you don't you know seamless coverage all right and if that's all you want to do with the sponge you'll get an awesome application of foundation just using the sponge for foundation but what I like to do is I like to use it for pretty much all of my face makeup so then I'll take my concealer and I use the small end for the concealer. And I'm going to be using my Sonia Kashuk Hidden Agenda Concealer Palette. And it's really nice because it's just got three different shades of concealer. And I am the medium shade right there right now. And like I have, you know, a blemish there. So I'm just going to take the very tip of that and get it right in there. And then I'll go over that. You know, any broken capillaries that are around your nose. You just go in with that and it is also awesome for getting under eye circles. So I just take it and it's so easy to just fit in that corner and you just use the same motion, just that same stippling motion and it just gives you such a natural, nice, even coverage of your makeup. I've used brushes in the past but I just think this definitely gives me the best application. Um, I'm not always the biggest fan of foundation brushes. And just anywhere you think you need a little bit extra coverage, you know, just take your concealer and dab all over. All right, now I also use it for powder. You can use it for mineral foundation, mineral makeup, anything. So for my powder, I'm using my Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder, and my color is in 005 Silky Beige. And so I just take that, and then when it comes to the powder, I like to get more on there because it doesn't pick up as easily as liquid foundation. And then, you know, just same exact motion over the t-zone down the bridge of the nose and I really like to get here because I I hate to see shininess there and then also down here because I can get some shininess down there as well and I 
don't really think I need any on my cheeks. Just blend it out a little bit there. Now, to use it for blush, I'm using my e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. And that is what that looks like. And I'm just going to take it and pat it in that blush there. Make sure you get it on there. You can see what the bottom of that looks like. And then, you know, apply your blush. I mean, I really like the the blending sponge for powder because I hate to see a powdery finish on a face, you know, where you can just see all the powder on it. And this really like pushes it into your skin so you don't get that powdery look. It's just really nice. So there's the blush. You can do bronzer with it too. I'm going to take the, the same, you know, and you don't have to wash it in between if you're going from, you know, light to dark like we're doing. You know, get the bronzer on there pretty good. And then I'm going to contour a little bit. And then I'll come back to it and blend that out with the side here. Because we haven't used the sides yet. And then, you know, without reapplying it on the sponge, you can lightly go over the cheeks. And the same way that I normally apply my bronzer, you know, go up, go up the hairline. And it'll just warm up your whole face and you'll get that just flawless application of all your, you know, your facial products. They're great. I think that warmed that up great. Now, if you want to go even further, you can use a highlighter with this product. And I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Studio Line Blush. And this is in the color Gotta Glow. And it's so nice. It's got a really nice golden sheen to it. So I'm going to take the side of the sponge and press it on there. And then, you know, just pat that on as a highlighter. And this will give you, you know, instant cheekbones by doing this. And if you want, you can even, you know, go down the bridge of the nose a little bit. And even on your, your cupid's bow. Make your lips look a little plumper. You can also use this for a wet highlighter product. You could use it for... Um, like a blush cream stick or something like that if you wanted to put it on the back of your hand and then put it on and you know dab it on the sponge that way and put it on it just gives you such a nice flawless application of your foundation your powders without giving you a powdery look and I used a lot of products here but it definitely doesn't look like I'm caked on or anything like that it just gives you such a great application and it just shows you how versatile the sponge is. I mean, I guess you could even use it for um, eyeshadow if you wanted. I haven't done that yet. I think it's a little bit bulky for that, but I mean, you could try it. So it's definitely worth the investment. I love it. It just is really helping me in my foundation routine. So, you know, if you have tried this or if you've tried the Sephora Beauty Blender, let me know what you think and uh, hope you like this. Thank you.